Hello, my name is Sandy. Welcome to the Cloud Factory. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 24 panel Sanarkali, the full outfit. This video is going to be pretty long, so in the screen you are seeing a list of chapters so you can jump through them in case you want to see only one specific thing. Just uh, pause your video, make sure your annotations in YouTube Player are on and choose the chapter you want to watch. Or if you prefer to watch the whole video, then wait for a few seconds and the video will start. I start making my patterns in paper. I highly recommend this for this specific kind of dress. So from here I will mark the length of my dress starting from my shoulders to down and I will add 2 inch for adjustments and I will trace a line in that point. Now in the top part I will mark half length of my shoulders and I will trace this line going down and here I will trace the armhole. I am giving you more information in the screen about the measurements. Here I will mark my chest and make this line 90 degrees angle and here my waist length and trace a line. Now I will just make a curved line here to construct my armhole and in this part I am marking my waist and join these two points. Now in the bottom part in the length line of your dress mark 21 inch and join that point with the waist in this way just a straight line and make a curve here only to stop the shape. Now take another piece of paper and put it under your pattern like this pin it together and cut it to get two patterns with the same shape. One pattern will be for our lining and the second one it will be to design our panels. I have it here, two pieces exactly the same and this one I will save it for my lining and in this one I will make my patterns. Divide the waistline in six parts and mark it. It's easier if you do it with centimeters. And in this line, transfer the same points starting from here. And trace these lines. Only join the points. Like this. Now the first five panels are the inner panels and looks exactly the same and this panel is the side panel. So what will I do is design only one inner panel. Here in the bottom part I will mark five inch. You can add more if you want but five is the standard and I will join that point with the first division in my waistline in this way. Don't worry about the other panels, we will choose the same pattern for all. And this, the side panel, I will extend this line until I reach my length line. In the bottom I will mark 6 inch and a half and join with this point. Now I will cut my two panels. And I will have this. This is my inner panel and I will need 20 of these. And this is my side panel and I will need 4 
of this. So there you have your 24 panels. Now we have to check this length from the waist to the length line is exactly the same in both sides of my panels here. If it's not the same, just adjust it. That's why I told you I was considering two inch more for adjustments. And the same in my side panel. I must have the same length in my two panels in both sides. This is so important, otherwise you will mess with the shape of your border. Now we can check here, it's exactly the same length. And this is done, now let's see how to make the sleeve pattern. I have a lot of questions all the time about how to make a perfect sleeve to match with the armhole, so I will explain you a way to do it, so you can't fail with this method. The first thing you have to do is measure your armhole. In this particular case for this dress, for me it's 10 inch and a half. So multiply it by 2 to get the full measure of your armhole and keep it in mind. And now here I will trace the length of my sleeve and I will trace this line and here mark the sleeve width and also here and join these two points to make a rectangle now here I have half width of my sleeve which in total is 14 inch so to reach the armhole measurement which is 21 inch do you remember I need 7 inch more those 7 inch I will mark it here in the top part of my sleeve here and also here and I will trace this line now here helping me with the measure tape I will draw an S shape curve just mark the points and after that join them with your curved drawer and I need to be sure check again this measurement match with the armhole it must be 10 and a half inch now from here I will mark 5 inch but you can mark as much as you want just take the measurement in the bottom part of your sleeve and join these points and your sleeve is ready, now cut it and now these two pieces march perfectly you will not have any problem if you make your sleeves in this way now let's talk about the fabrics I will use and I recommend for this kind of dress First of all, if you are making a dress with lining, you will need a transparent fabric for your panels. This is a um, little bit dense one. It must be tight enough to maintain the shape of your panels, but not so much to don't affect the flow of your dress. You can also use this kind of lace fabric, which is so nice for this kind of dresses. Or another option is just this kind of net fabric this one is a very transparent one but this kind of shining so it looks so beautiful if you use this you will not be able to see the color in this way you are uh, seeing it right now because it's so transparent so if you use it just think about the lining you will use to don't affect the color of your dress the important thing you have to know is don't use this kind of so flowy and soft fabrics for panels. This one is chiffon. You can use it for a one piece dress, but never, never for panels because it's too difficult to cut. It's slipping and moving all the time. Also, it will be so difficult to sew for panels. So be careful with that and never use this kind of fabrics for panels. Now, here I have normal lining fabric 
this one is jersey so it's so comfortable and I am using satin for borders so I will use this one and black you can also use velvet or any other fabric you like now I will cut my lining and first of all I will fold my fabric in a way I will get four layers of fabric and here by the folded part I will pin my pattern and I will cut it considering one centimeter for stitches you can also consider this space for stitches since you make the pattern but for me it's more exact if you do it in the fabric when you cut it now let's cut our panels this is the most important thing in this dress so pay attention to every detail I will explain you first of all I will pin my side panel pattern and I will cut it I need four of these and also don't forget I am considering one centimeter for stitches and now I will cut my inner panels I will need 20 of these and I recommend you to cut only two panels at the same time because we need 20 of these and if you cut it all together you will not get the same shape in all your panels and we need it to be exactly the same to don't mess with the shape of my dress now I will explain you how we will sew the panels. This is so important. We have here a straight line in this side of my panel. And here I have an angle line and all my inner panels are like this. So the straight line in my first panel, I will match it with the angle line in my next panel. Sewing in this way, one and one, one straight and one angle line you will get the shape of your dress as you can see here now here I have an angle line and I will stitch it with the straight line in the next panel like this and I will do the same with all my panels now a very important thing stitching the panels is first panel you have to start from top stitch it and finish in the bottom for the next panel start in the bottom and stitch all over here and finish in the top the next one start in the top and finish in the bottom and do the same with all your panels one and one one from bottom one from top if you don't sew it in this way in the bottom part of your dress you will get different lengths of every panel it will not match it will be a complete mess and if you try to cut it just like trim it you will make it worse now to attach the side panels I have the armhole here and the shape of my dress here these panels you must start stitching from the bottom part and finish in the top part once your inner patterns are ready now let's see it in real here I have a straight line and here I have an angle line so I will match these two lines and I will stitch it starting from the top part pin it if you want only put a pin in the top part and sew it and I will have these my first two panels are ready as you can see here now open it and in this part now I have an angle line and I will match it with a straight line just put it together and this time I will start sewing from the bottom part and you will get this now we have three panels and as you can see here the shape of my dress at the bottom is perfect now here I have again an angle line and I will match it with a straight line and now I will start sewing from the top part I will keep 
doing the same process for all my panels. Once again, if you can see here, my panel, my panels match at the bottom. That makes me so happy. And also, if you want, you can actually I recommend to do this: trim the excess of fabric in the joint lines of the panels, and you will get a very neat and clean finishing. Now, in this part, also my panels match, and in the bottom part, which is more important, my panels also match, and my shape is perfect. Now I will join the side panels, and remember this one you have to start stitching from the bottom part, just pin it again, matching the shape in the bottom part, and sew it. We will finish in the arm hole. And that's it, the front part of your dress is ready, we will do exactly the same with the back part panels. Like this, you will have both pieces. Now we will attach the lining. I will take one of my lining pieces and I will pin it to my front net piece. First, pin the armhole in both sides and then pin the top part like this, starting from here and finishing in the waistline. We will sew it together, first the top part then the armhole and I will finish to sew together in the waistline as I told you before. Now we will make the front neckline. Fold your piece like this, your front piece, by the middle and then I will take a piece of interface and I will mark the shape of my neckline, you can do any shape you want, I will make a rounded one, so I will mark 5 inch in every side and also by here. To get the same length and I will draw this shape. Now from here I will mark 2 inch all over around. And draw the shape. You have to cut this in a folded interface, but I I have these two pieces so I will cut it apart and join them by here. But you cut the full shape if you can. Now pin it to your fabric you will use for the neckline design and cut it considering space for stitches. Here I am considering about 2 cm. And I stitch it together, only the shoulder part and the inner line of the neckline. The outer line, we will leave it free for now. Pin it to your dress to the front part of your dress. First pin the shoulders and now we will sew from here only the inner line of the neckline. Once you stitch it, cut the excess of fabric here. Remove it. And now we will cut here all over around and this will help me to fold my neckline to the other side. So fold it like this 
and now fold by here and stitch you can skip this step if you want I will cut strips of fabric in a bias way and I will join them in this way to make a very long strip of fabric don't forget to cut it on bias because this will be the piping for my neckline so if you don't cut it on bias it will not match the shape of your neckline perfectly most of all if you are using a uh, drowned neckline fold it and sew it like this to get the piping and now we will attach it to the black part of my neckline like this if you remember I show you how to make the piping in my video about how to make a kurti so you can check it there for more detailed explanation now I have this shape I cut in the same fabric for the bottom part of my neckline and I will stitch it to a piece of interface all over around and I will cut the excess of fabric of interface and I will add piping also all over around the same piping I just before and I will attach it here sewing by this line and again you can make any design and any shape you want for your neckline now we will give a stitch here to keep it on its place in the very very edge of your fabric and again I will make these cuts in the extremes of the piping I will fold it like this and sew all over here only be sure the fabric under the neckline is not moving you can pin it if you want just to be sure and there you have it your front neckline base is ready for the back neckline I will make a rounded one a little bit open from here so I will mark 9 inch and here I will mark 5 inch and I will just draw the rounded shape and also here this is about 2 inch not about it's 2 inch because it was match with the front neckline to does, don't mess with the shoulder part cut the interface and pin it to a piece of fabric in a different color or the same color if you want and sew it and we will attach it in the same way we attach the front neckline also from here and from here once you're done you will have something like this now facing right sides of your front and back stitch by here and by here to close the shoulder parts it must match and now we will attach the sleeves but first of all I will make the border of the sleeves I have this strip of fabric matching the right side of the border and the wrong side of my sleeve I will stitch it turn it and sew by here to keep it on its place Now I will add piping here, like this, fold it and stitch right here. We need to keep it on its place and you have it. Now 
match this mark we made before with your shoulder part pin it and sew it from here and from here and it's ready do the same with the other sleeve I will make the border of my dress in two pieces, one for front part and one for back part. And first of all I will cut strips of fabric also on bias, as many as I need. You can measure the bottom part of your dress. And then from that strips of fabric I will cut rectangles of fabric and I will join them again by here. Why I am doing this? Because this will give flexibility to your fabric so it will be easier to attach it here. Sew it together and you will have this now folded like here and make a stitch here to keep it on its place. Go forward panel by panel and you will not have any problem with the shape. Now I made this big piping and I will attach it to my first border. You will have this when you unfold it and now Hold it to the right side of your dress and sew everything together. Press everything, borders, neckline and also the back neckline. And now we will close by here, starting from one sleeve and I will sew until I reach the waistline. I will stop here and from here I will sew separate the net fabric and the lining fabric. Now press the sleeves and now we will decorate our neckline. I like simple things so I will keep it simple. I am only adding a line of pearls in this part. But this is complete up to you so you can add more things if you want. And your dress is ready. As you can see here in the border I made a decorative stitch and a little flower here. I will make a very simple and easy to pata using the leftover fabric of my panels. Just cut it straight. I will get two pieces of this and I will stitch it together using a decorative stitch and I will add more decorative stitches and a lace in the border. And that's it, the easy dupatta is ready. You can make a better one if you have enough fabric and time. In a previous video I showed you already how to make a churidar. So if you want a traditional one and a perfect one, do it in that way. Or also here I will show you a easier way to make a churidar. I have 3 meters of fabric here and I fold it by the middle. Now I will fold it in an angle line like this. Start folding from this part of your fabric with the two pieces. Now from here mark half contour of your ankle adding 1 inch for loosing. And here 15 inch and trace this line. 5 inch more here. 
and in this line I will mark half contour of my knee and now I will mark the length of my salwar I will mark it here and I will reduce 7 inch for waistband and I will trace this line now from the bottom part of your salwar from the waist point to down mark 16 inch like this and trace this line and here we will mark another 16 inch and also here and trace this during the two points now we will join these three points with my curved roller like this and cut it considering one centimeter for stitches as you can see here I got the complete shape of my legs because if you see some churidars in this part here it has like patches of fabric so that will happen if you use only two meters of fabric with three meters of fabric it will be enough to get the full shape of your legs and you will have leftover fabric if you don't care about the patches then you can make your cherry dart with only two meters of fabric then cut your waistband with the measurements I'm giving you on the screen I have two pieces and now we will stitch our churidar. First of all, join the crotch area, stitching these two lines, and after that, these two lines. Now, the second one, and it's ready. Now, we will work with the ankle part. Open it and make a normal hem. Three inches and a half from here and cut. Fold that part and hem it. The same in the other side. And do the same in the other leg. Now we will close the inner leg part. Start stitching from one ankle part and finish in the other. In this way. And now the waistband. First I will close it by here. And from here I will fold it like this. This is the bottom part of my waistband. And in the other side here I will mark about one inch here and I will not stitch in this part I will leave it free stitch until the first mark and continue stitching in the next one so you will have a holder like this now fold the bottom part and hem it Now take a strip of fabric and just round it and hem it in this way. And now go to your machine tension and set it in 1 and 3.5 or 4 for the length of your stitch and we will sew to, from this point to this point in single pieces of fabric, single one. stitch in a normal way but at the beginning leave this thread long so you can pull it in this way is the bottom thread of your stitch pull it as much as you need and then make a knot to reach the size of your waistband do the same in both sides as you can see here now is the same length and now we will attach the waistband just sew it together And that's it, your tree that is ready, almost ready. 
We will put inside the strip of fabric we made before, helping me by this huge needle. Make a knot here, cut the excess of fabric, and now in the ankle part I will use this kind of buttons or I don't know what is the name, <laughs> to close it. Do the same in the other ankle part and your tree that is ready to use. And that's it, you're done. Your 24 panel Sanarkali suit is ready. If you have any doubt, please uh, tell me in a comment in the comment box below this video and I will reply you as soon as possible. If you think this video is useful or you like it, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so YouTube will tell you whenever I upload a new video. And as usual, in the description box below, you have the instructions to request the patterns for this uh, outfit. I will give you the patterns for the dress the and the churidar also. Just read the instructions carefully and contact me by my Facebook page and I will send you the patterns. Here on the screen I will leave you the IDs of my network so you can contact me there because I would love to see your dress if you decide to make it or also if you want to comment or tell me something or just gossip or whatever you can contact me there. I have Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy stitches for everyone and I will see you next time.